I want to speak to you today about how to heal from a broken heart. The Bible says in Luke chapter 4 verse 18, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. My beloved, in this lifetime, your heart will be broken. In my life, my heart has been broken so many different times. Nevertheless, I keep trusting in Jesus and I want you to keep trusting in Jesus. The first thing that you need in order to heal from a broken heart is is through truthful vulnerability. A hard heart cannot be a healed heart. As you open up your heart, whether it's shame, pride, whatever these things have came against you, He will heal you. The Bible says in Psalms 147 verse 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. My beloved, the second thing that you need in order to heal from a broken heart is through forgiveness. Understand that unforgiveness breeds bitterness, resentment, hatred upon your heart. But as you learn to forgive, your forgiveness will release that other individual from hurting you. I understand that forgiveness is a process. Allow the Holy Spirit to bring that reconciliation, to bring that peace, to bring true, genuine forgiveness in your heart. See, you know that Jesus is with you. Jesus himself, as he was in the cross of Calvary, he said in Luke chapter 23, verse 34, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Jesus has forgiven us, therefore we need to forgive those who have hurt us. Today, your forgiveness will foster a fellowship with your heavenly Father. The third thing that you need to take into consideration to heal from a broken heart is through gratitude. Ingratitude will cause you to miss what God is doing amidst your pain. See, your gratefulness, your thankfulness will bring you to His presence because all He wants to do is bring healing through you. A sick person will get others sick. A healed person will heal others. And God wants to heal through you and in you. And healing will take place as we walk in hope. That's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19, for we have this hope as the anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast today. Understand this, my beloved, that your truthful vulnerability, your forgiveness, and your gratitude will bring you to a point where the Spirit of God will bring healing to your heart. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.